Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, my name is Kim. This is Core Union. I wanted to share an email that one of my clients just sent me. She was getting incredible movement. And then the moment where she started to get vulnerable, then her specific person who is actually her husband ended up like all of the old story came up. When it happens, it can be very it can be very jarring, it can be unexpected, it can be very hurtful and frustrating. But this is the exact precise moment where you make the decision. This is like your body is, you know, you have a splinter, the splinter is sore, it's coming out, your body is pushing the splinter out. Just like when you're doing your inner work and all of the good stuff is pushing out and then some of the bad stuff starts to show up, some of the things you don't want. It's just like that splinter. Your body is naturally pushing it out so don't just push it back in. I know that it can hurt, but don't push it back in. Let it go. Let it let it get let it just leave you. Release it and let it go by making a decision. You are making a conscious choice. And I know that the process can be painful. Okay. But I'm going to read this. This should be a short and sweet video. I just know that it's going to inspire many of you guys and I'm ridiculously over the top, incredibly proud of my client. So she wrote, I was having amazing movement with that, my husband this summer. We were walking together before work every morning. Sometimes he'd invite me even to meet him during the day at a nearby lake and we'd go for long bike rides together on the weekends. We were having dinner together nearly every evening and we even went on a short trip last month in our adult daughter with our adult children. While it wasn't perfect yet, it was feeling really, really good. And we both seemed to be enjoying our quality time and physical connection, which you both were. Hold on. <laughs> we hadn't verbally expressed our feelings to each other. And one afternoon when we were snuggling, the feeling just came over me and I told him that I loved him. And nothing is wrong with that, by the way. So you're choosing the version that you know that you are safe to be vulnerable, you're safe and secure being vulnerable, that you're loved, you are perfect in everything you say and everything that you do, okay? That you want to decide that. You are always chosen, you're always a priority. He got quiet and then he said, I want to love you. She used all of her energy at that point to quickly flip it around, telling herself that it's okay and that there was nothing to fear. She said, wanting to love me is better than not loving me. So now this is the part where I'm going to stop reading this. And I just want to say basically what happened here in that exact moment where he said, I want to love you. And I know that it's challenging, but I want you to go back to that moment in your mind, go back energetically. I mean, we can obviously meet and we can go over this together, but as you mentioned in your email, you also want to be focusing in on financial security because that's super important. Go back in your energy to that exact moment and think back to it. Think back to how good it felt snuggling up. Think back to how good it felt having basically experiencing all this affection, all of this quality time spending together. Go back into that exact moment. Hear yourself exactly how you did. Say, I love you. And then imagine that he squeezes you tighter. He holds you close. And he says, I love you too. I love you so much. You're everything to me. Thank you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for letting me love you. Just go back into that exact moment and think of it that way. And remember that the, all the stuff that came out after that was all your, it's just all of your limiting fears that, you didn't realize got projected onto him way back when, and it all is just needing to come out just like the splinter needs to leave your body. So just don't keep pressing in on the splinter. Like don't keep thinking about over and over and over again, ruminating over the thing that he said, because what he said was just part of your old assumption. It was just part of your old story, just part of the old manifestation. It doesn't matter. Choose the beautiful happy, amazing, close marriage. You are all a beautiful and perfect family unit. Choose being 100% prioritized and chosen, loved, adored, and cherished. Perfect in everything you say and everything that you do. 
for him and that he is perfect in everything he says and everything that he does for you. You guys love each other equally and immensely. So just go back into that. And you're going to make the decision to step into that power of unconditional love and trust in the beginning of the day when you first wake up and you are going to remain in that reality all throughout the day. And when you start to have memories or fears around this particular little situation, which is nothing, it's a tiny little blip. It's like, it's not even a page in the chapter of your love story in the book. It is literally like, it's like one little, it's like one little paragraph on the page in a chapter of your beautiful love story. You already know the end. You've written your end. The end exists. So remain in the timeline of that. Okay. I love your progression. And I want you to also think about this. Remember back when we first had our session, remember back when we first had our session and all of your old story. Okay. And I just want you to think back and then think and really think all of the stuff that's happening is what my old fears, worries, and doubts were before I came into my awakening and understood what was happening. So it's okay. I can safely and I can safely go into my trust and safely let it all go. I can let go of the old version of me that created that. I can let go of the old version of my person, the old version of the marriage. I can let go of the entire old reality. And I'm going to step into being conscious out of all the infinite choices that I have and knowing and understanding the process that when I step into accepting this reality where we are absolutely perfect together, that I am then stepping into that timeline and everything that's happening is happening literally right now. All that needs to happen is happening. I'm going to stay in that trust and I'm going to carry that with me all throughout the day. And then I'm going to repeat some inner work somewhere in the middle of the day. And as I go to sleep, I'm going to fall asleep from the feeling of harmonious, our harmonious, beautiful life together. We are supporting each other. We are everything to each other, all of that stuff. This isn't going to be a video on the affirmations for you to say, okay? But really compare now to all of that movement you had over the summer to how things were before you really stepped into your power. Okay, so keep doing the work that you were doing before, and now you're taking it to an entire new level because now you are literally ready. You're ready for the entire thing because the old story came up to show itself to give you that choice. Okay, so you're not choosing the old reality anymore. You're choosing your new reality. So make the choice and the decision first thing in the morning, who you are, who your husband is, what the marriage is like, what your life is like together, okay? And remain in that unconditional love because that is where all of your power is. I love you. So everyone else, I, I know that this inspired a lot of you guys to persist and to remain in trust, but remember to pay attention to what you're persisting in and what you're trusting in. Are you persisting in the old story, the old version of you, your old reality, or are you persisting in the new story, the new version of you, the new reality, the new version of your person? Pay close attention to what you're actually persisting in, which means where is your energy, where are your feelings, and where is your awareness? Where are you putting that? And that is what's going to be expanding because there is power in your awareness. You have to remember that everything in your reality that appears to be solid isn't actually solid. It is all just billions and trillions of atoms and they all become solidified and become something based off of your dominant awareness on it. It is your observation on something that collapses the atoms into being something, okay? So have it be something that serves the two of you guys in a wonderful, loving relationship. I love you guys so much. I don't know what's up with my shirt in this video. Please comment down below that you are going to remain in trust that Everything that you want in your heart and soul already exists. The desire itself is the promise of the wish fulfilled in itself. And comment down below that you know that it's done. If you need me, just reach out. I love you. I'll talk to you soon.